हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू डिजिटल गर्ल प्लीज प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो लेट्स स्टार्ट हाय एंड वेलकम टू द सेशन टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट इंटीजर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट यू सी व्हाट आर नेगेटिव नंबर्स नंबर्स विद ए नेगेटिव साइन Less than zero, these numbers are called negative numbers. For example, minus five, minus eleven. Minus fifteen are all negative numbers. Now let's see what are integers. Now we already know that the collection of numbers one, two, three, four, and so on are called natural numbers. Now if we include zero with the collection of natural numbers. That is zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. Then they are known as whole numbers. And if we add the collection of negative numbers with the collection of whole numbers, that is zero, one, two, three, four, and so on, with the negative numbers. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and so on. Then this collection is known as integers. Now in this collection, the integers one, two, three, four, and so on are said to be positive integers. And the integers minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and so on. Are said to be negative integers. Now our next topic is representation of integers on a number line. First of all, let us draw a line. Now mark a point zero on it. Also mark some points at equal distance on both sides of zero. Like this. Now, points to the right of zero are positive integers, and are marked as plus one, plus two, plus three, and so on, or simply one, two, three, four, and so on. And the points on the left of zero are negative integers. And are marked as minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and so on. Now, if we want to mark the point minus seven on the number line, then we will move seven points on the left of zero. So here we have minus four, then here we will have minus five, minus six, and minus seven. So this is the point minus seven. And if we want to mark a point three on the number nine, then we will move three points on the right of zero. So here we have the point three. Now let's move on to ordering of integers. Here we have a number nine, and we know that seven is greater than five. And from the number line, we can observe that seven is on the right of five. Also, five is greater than zero. And from the number line, we have that five is on the right of zero. Now, 
0 is on the right of minus 4. So, this implies that 0 is greater than minus 4. Also, minus 4 is on the right of minus 9. So, from this we can see that minus 4 is greater than minus 9. So, from this we conclude that on the number 9, the number increases as we move to the right and decreases as we move to the left. Therefore, minus 3 is less than minus 2, minus 2 is less than minus 1, minus 1 is less than 0, 0 is less than 1, 1 is less than 2, 2 is less than 3 and so on. So, the collection of integers can be written as minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, then 0, then positive integers, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on according to their order. Now let's see what is the successor of a number. One more than the given number gives a successor for example Successor of 5 will be equal to 1 more than 5 that is 6. Also the successor of minus 5 will be 1 more than minus 5 and that will be minus 4. Now we will move on to the predecessor of a number. 1 less than the given number gives a predecessor. For example, Predecessor of 5 will be 1 less than 5, that is 4. And predecessor of minus 5 will be 1 less than minus 5, that is minus 6. So in this session we have learned what are negative numbers, integers, Representation of integers on a number line, ordering of integers, what is the successor and predecessor of a number. With this, we finish this session. Hope you must have understood all the concepts. Goodbye, take care and have a nice day.